Hi everybody and welcome to the third video of VB.net 2013 series. This is actually a bit of a mid video, this is like a 2.1 because there's some things I talked about in the last video that I really didn't touch on that I wanted to. And that mainly is just saving and loading your different projects, okay? And just explaining the difference between a solution and a project. So this is a quick little video, get you up and running with that stuff and we're going to get to variables on the next video. I'm sorry about this everybody but I really want to cover it before we get to the next video. Because a lot of people have trouble saving and loading their work when they first start out in Visual Studio. All right, this is my project from last time. Okay, remembering where I saved my files, I'm gonna quickly open up my documents folder. There's my vb.net folder, and there's my project. Okay, so what actually happens in Visual Studio 2013 is it creates a folder automatically for you. In 2010, it doesn't automatically create that folder. And I'm sorry, but I won't demonstrate this because this is focused on 2013. Now, if I just click Save, what I'm effectively doing is saving just my code in front of me. And there's more to my project than my code, as I explained before. There's a solution, a project, your settings, a little bit more, which I won't go into, and your code as well. So really, before we close down our application, what we want to do is you want to make sure you save all which is there, that one there, or control shift s for those shortcut fanatics. And now we can safely close Visual Studio. All right, now just to demonstrate what Visual Studio has created for you, this grand number of files, okay? And I'm just gonna quickly go through them. So this one right here is our solution file, okay? This is everything in a bunch. And I really recommend that you open this file for everything that you do. If I go inside this folder, which seems a bit confusing because we've got a hello world and then we've got a hello world again. There seems to be too much, but bear with me. If we go inside this one here, okay, you can see there's a VB project or Visual Basic project. All right, and this is just your program. Okay, now if I open up this file, yes, I know, go away, Windows. All right, essentially, it's the same thing that we had before, which is fantastic. That's how you want to open your projects. I haven't explained you the difference between a solution and a project, and I'm going to do that right now. A solution can be more than one project. Okay, let's say we have a program which has about three or four different parts to it. Okay, you would create a solution, and you would create a project underneath every project underneath that solution. Okay, and to demonstrate that, if I right-click on solution, I can go add, and I've got the choice of new project or existing. So if I go new project. For instance, I'm just going to go, this is a test. I've got a brand new project, okay? And it includes the exact same pieces as my Hello World, okay? So imagine these two projects are linked in some way, okay? I don't know how. Maybe one, this one's a game, and maybe this one's a map editor for the game, okay? So they're linked, but they're not the same thing, all right? The good thing about this is if I quickly save all and close like I did before, you can see I've still got the same solution, Hello World, but this time I've got two folders. This is a test and Hello World. So that's my first project that we made last video, and this is a test, is my next project that I just made then. So if I open up this project, let's say I wanted to open up both projects at the same time. Again, if I just open this as a test, okay, I was hoping to demonstrate something bad then, but it did it for me. You can see it's still got two projects. All right. And that's the interesting part about it. Now, that's a solution and that's a project. So a solution is many projects. A project is just a program that you're making. Okay, it could be many different things. Let's have a quick look at our Hello World because we've got all these folders and all these files. These three here are what we had in our Solution Explorer. So we had my project, which was actually that file there. We had app.config, there it is, and module.1 where our code lives. Now, bear in mind, just bear with me, I'm just gonna open this in Notepad, or Notepad++, because that's my one. So this looks exactly the same as we had in Visual Studio. Okay, so there's nothing special about that file, it's just text, okay? Now, we've got these three new folders here. Okay, we've got my project, which is lots of different settings for your project, and I'm not gonna go through any of these, because really, you should never have to go inside this folder, ever. Okay, if you do, you've done something bad. All right, we've then got an object folder and a bin folder. 
Now, some people, if they're advanced, will know exactly what these are, but if you're just starting out, you may not. Okay, the object folder, or the OBJ folder, contains information of all the pieces of your project. Okay, this is your project as Visual Basic's working on it and piecing it together to create your exe file. Now, if I quickly go to the bin folder, this is your final program. Okay, and looking at all that stuff, there's a whole lot of stuff there. Your final program is actually just that file there. And I know that because it's an exe file and it says application on the side. All right. If I run this program, there it is. It's the exact same program that we had last time, but I can actually move this around. I can copy this file, plop it on my desktop, and I can run that anyway. I can give that to my friends and run that program, just like a normal exe file should. Okay, I'm going to delete that. should have explained that. But basically, so the idea is, the object folder is Visual Basic working on taking whatever you've written in Visual Studio or your source code and converting it into the executable file, which is your bin folder, which stands for binary. Okay? Now, don't worry about debug right now. There's two folders you'll probably get, debug and release, and I won't go through the differences yet. But just know that that's your program right there. That's the end result of your program. You'll take that file and you'll give it to all of your customers and your friends and things like that. You do whatever you want to it. So, and it doesn't include your source code as such. But yeah, so that's where you find your program. And just remember, if you want to open up your project, please use the solution file that you find here. All right, sorry about the interruption. We'll get back into variables on the next video. And good luck. Happy programming, everyone.